That one busted me. He saw me move my camera. Well, that was pretty cool. I was watching this bachelor group and they came up into the fence row and came right to me. I had them all at 10 yards. It was pretty cool. I'd say um, a couple of those might be shooters. Um, on public land anyways. I'd have to see them out of velvet and they've still got growing to do. There's one that looks like a, looks like a seven point. He might grow an eighth point. They look mature. If he is mature, then he's definitely a shooter on public land. So uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to find a place to put this camera. Although I got all the pictures I need of them. I've got a camera with me, so I might as well go put it down by the creek, see if we can get some cool creek pictures. So two of those bucks w went down here, which goes down to the creek. The rest of them, they kind of scattered and went different ways, but one of the good ones went down here to the creek. I hear the deer in the creek. So they're down here somewhere. All right, also it's getting dark out here, but the creek is down there. There's a good little trail that goes down on an angle straight into the creek, and this is where I heard the deer crossing. And uh, there's a good little trail going parallel here, and it, it comes down on an angle, goes to that trail, and then of course the trail I came in on is the trail that those two deer I saw ran down. So I've got my trail camera right here. Sorry, it's not focusing very quick, but uh, I've just kind of got it angled straight down at where these two trails meet and go down to the creek. Uh, nothing too exciting, but maybe we'll get some pictures of some other deer that I didn't see tonight. So, uh, leave it here for a couple weeks and come back and check it later.